Hi, everybody. So we're continuing with Chapter 35, but before we do that, we got a little blast from the past. Uh, I finally got some parts in that I ordered about five weeks ago, and here they are. All right, does anyone know what these are? Any guess? Wrong. What these are are replacements for the elbow joints that go into landing gear braces on the side of the fuselage. So inside the fuselage, both sides, landing gear braces, have a hole drilled through them that have been tapped. This is where the brake line goes from the fuselage down towards the wheels. Uh, because of the Behringer kit that I'm using, I have to replace the uh, fittings that they have there with these, right? These are NPT to AN4 adapters. Or them special from somewhere. I just hope they don't break in half. So now that I've got those, they fit in place, everything is good. Once I put the landing gear on, uh, because the lines aren't exactly the same and they have a much bigger fitting, I kind of have to do a little bit of magic down there. and I, I won't wind up completing those brake lines until after the uh, gear goes in. But that, that's, for the, that's for later. Anyway, now what we've got... I'm taking pictures. Oh yeah, here's a picture of those adapters. There you go. Uh, so yeah, today we're continuing to work on Chapter 35. Again, upper front fuselage. Uh, but before we begin, got a few new pieces, including some... What did I get in that spruce box? Oh, couldn't have been that important. Okay, so uh, we've got the back plate in place for the uh, panel, and we're just basically putting pieces together. Uh, the old school. Deburr, match drill, or is it match drill? Deburr, match drill, and deburr the holes, prime, rivet. So what I'm working on here is putting in some doublers. These are the braces that go between the firewall and the sub-panel. Right, now, they're not only going to hold it in place, but they're also going to hold the skin on top. They've got some doublers on them, and a couple of places where uh, we'll have both gas struts and the hinges for the canopy. All right, so these things, these things are going to hold a lot of weight. So they got a nice big stuff under all of them. Let's see any news. Uh, I actually haven't been working much on a plane. Thank God I've got a five-week backlog of videos. I, I literally, it's the end of the year for me. It's the end of the year. It's not even the middle of December yet. And I'm just completely swamped. Uh, got software that we're launching at the end of the year and <clears throat> you know the holidays I really haven't done anything uh, mostly because this is the only thing I've got left to do which is this chapter <clears throat> and then the fuse and then the uh, finishing kits coming finishing kit should be here by the time you see this by God it better be so uh, one thing I will talk about uh, as I'm just deburring parts here is that now that I've sort of got some of these parts into place and I've been studying other people's build logs uh, there's really a lot I need to do before I can really uh, put this panel in. I, I always joked that, yeah, you know, I'll just I'll keep the panel separate and build the panel on on the uh, panel on the side, and not put it in the fuselage yet to save me some trouble. It's I'm more right than I know. I've been looking. I mean, it's not just wiring. There's a lot of crap that you got to shove up into that panel, right? Uh, oof, it's oof, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a tight one. And, of course, there's also the main power distribution, power uh, voltage regulator. Well, the voltage regulator will probably be on the other side of the firewall. Uh, I've got to have a bus going out. i got a bus. i got to have a, uh, a whole grounding block coming back in, right, and from everything. And I've got to put in my electronic control units for the... Uh, just the list goes on and on. Um, how we're going to package all that up in there, I, I still don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. One thing I will say, so the, the two pieces you're watching me work on now, uh, the, the, these get a little tricky. So you can kind of see me doing a little bit of drilling out of a rivet there. Uh, these are kind of tricky. You're going to have to cut one small piece of a flange off of not the long piece, but the short, weirdly shaped piece in the back. Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think this has to do with the canopy release. Uh, just be patient with it. Uh, I've looked up. The, I've already called Vans for the price of one. Uh, thankfully, I didn't screw mine up too much. 
So in the next video, we're just going to keep working on chapter 35. And maybe I'll have some rant of some kind for you guys. So thanks for joining us. See you soon.